Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I have been trying to be a little bit healthier, and I actually and been taking daily vitamins. Um, it's actually really funny because every one of these like daily vitamins always has like a question of the day or whatever. And today's question is, if a movie was made about your life, what would it be called? And I found that so serendipitous because today's sponsor is Mazda and they are one of the official partners of the Toronto International Film Festival. So I'm gonna answer this question, but before I do, I wanna know if a movie was made about your life, what would it be called? I don't know. I'm like debating on what my movie should be called. It's either like something like Chaos or like The Boring Girl, The Tiny Girl, The Tired Girl. But yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee. I have some work to do and then I'm gonna go and get into a little bit of what we're doing today afterwards. I am putting together looks for um, my latest video. I actually do videos for Slice.ca, which is one of my go-to um, TV channels that I'm always watching because they have all the Real Housewives and all that fun stuff. But anyway, so I'm putting together some looks and this whole set is going to be how to wear a pattern. Definitely head on over to my Instagram and check out when that will launch. Let's intimidate you. Think about the colors that you love to wear. Um, if I love wearing neutral colors and pastels, so try to find pattern clothing in those colors. Okay. If pat if wearing patterns intimidate. So now that I kind of figured out everything that I'm doing and like what we're doing today um, and all that, I think it'd be also really fun to show you guys how I shoot like more branded content for my Instagram. I don't think it's a secret here <laughs> that uh, as this is my full-time job, I do work with companies from time to time and I think it's really cool that I'm able to incorporate something like this onto my content. Yeah, I'm going to have to be taking a photo with the Mazda today and I don't really know exactly my plans for it, but I'm going to show you what really goes into like my branded posts. This could be really insightful for people who want to do this type of work or um, just kind of like my whole thought process behind it. It's like the first thing I always do when I'm really trying to figure out a like what i'm going to be wearing what i'm wearing tonight for the event and the post and all that and then b um like it just makes it so much smoother when i am shooting and stuff like that because i'm able to try on everything and just have a good idea like dylan who helps me like pretty much shoot all my instagram posts like he has a good idea of what like i'm actually looking for and like what will work for um my personal style as well as uh, hopefully the brand that I'm working with will be happy with it as well. So, yeah, there's just like obviously a little bit more that goes into it than just kind of like snapping a photo and standing in front of a car because to be honest, like, like that's not very creative. Like if I were just to go out like this and just like stand in front of a car and then just hashtag ad or whatever, like that just like for me, like I just don't think that would really resonate with a lot of people. So I'm definitely gonna have to think of something that I think would be really fun to look at and um, would like make you as excited as I am right now <laughs> to have this whole like Mazda and TIFF experience. So yeah, just like a lot to think about and um, yeah, I'll just show you guys my mood board. All right. Okay. So this is the little mood board that I created um, basically just to give me a good idea of things that I may want to wear, vibe I want to get. We are going to be actually in the Toronto skyline and not the New York skyline. So I just kind of want to get like a good gist of everything. So this was just like a tiny bit of inspo so that way I'm on the right track. We got it! Okay, so I am about to actually get ready now, but I actually didn't even say what movie we're watching. We're watching One Night in Miami, which is super exciting because there's a female director. It's directed by Regina King. It's about a very prolific group of black icons, and I just think it's, it's I'm just so freaking pumped for it. So yeah, we're gonna get ready. And we're just gonna basically rush out the door and get all this done. My mom is watching Toledo for anyone who is wondering. Yes, Toledo has a little babysitter tonight. It's parents night out. So I want to wear my Jordan 1. So these are the obsidian pair, I believe. I think they're so cute. So I'm just trying to figure out what to wear them with. First would be this, which is just like a little tank top and um, a pinstripe shirt over. And then my one of my favorite pair of jeans at the moment 
or I could do this dress that I got from Princess Polly. It's one of them. Um, it's in my recent haul and I think it would look really cute um, with some sneakers. So still deciding, but I think it's going to be down to these two. Or we go with option three, which I didn't mention before, but has like a very, very similar vibe. I'll show you guys a little bit of my outfit when we get there, but for now, we're just gonna get all our stuff and then head out the door as soon as possible. Okay, so we are just about to leave. So pumped for this. I realized I never actually said what the model of the car that we're driving in is. It's the Mazda CX-9. So really pumped about that. So excited to go and watch a movie. The car is super nice, guys. They sanitized it and everything um, for literally half an hour before we were able to go in, which was super thorough. And we really do appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I have not been in any sort of ride share, like um, vehicle or like a cab or anything like that since before COVID, um, we've really only driven in our car exclusively. This is the first time we were actually pretty much driving a completely different vehicle and all that. And so we really do appreciate how much thought they put into this. This is supposed to be like the VIP TIFF drive-through experience. So really pumped about that. I don't know what that entails or anything, um, but I believe we can go and we can get snacks and stuff like that. We're gonna have a beautiful view of the water um, and just watch a really good film. So. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. So we're gonna head over there now. I think we got the shot, which I'm so excited about. I really wanted like a really good shot of like me with like obviously the CX-9 and then the skyline, which we actually found this like deserted parking lot <laughs> or like it's not even the parking lot. It's like the, the transition shipment. to the next <laughs> level of the parking lot or I whatever. I think so. I think this is where they take shipments. Oh, we weren't even in the parking lot, <laughs> according to Dylan. But we got some really cool stuff. Like I think that like like this picture looks really really cool. So I'm gonna definitely edit those and stuff like that and put them on my Instagram. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that up too. I think it's funny. You guys can tell like that the sky is gonna be so so pretty today. It's gorgeous. <laughs> We get the closer seats too. Yeah, look at this. Wow, this is stunning. Yep. So cool. Oh. I am so excited. I'm sorry, what? It is unfreaking real in here. You guys have to see the box. It's insane. First thing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so. We got the socks here. We got these yeah. little. There's so much stuff in here. But there's two each. Why don't we both get a selfie? Doubles. Dylan's favorite Ooh. food. Time to get it. Wow. This is like Dylan's perfect night. Yo, this is sick. Look. Look at this. Jerk chicken, fried chicken, doubles, poutine, jerk poutine, and chicken roti. And like corn. corn. It's all my favorites. Just finished. Yeah. That was so much fun. Yeah, we had such a nice time. Um, this was really fun. We've never done a drive-in movie before, so that was amazing. Always love a free tote. Always love a little tote. Oh, I love you. What you cooking? We are cooking salmon. Yay, and then we have some leftover chopped salad, which we're gonna add to it as well. Hi guys, and happy Sunday. 
Um, sorry if I'm talking really loud right now. I popped my ears this morning and honestly, I just like don't know what happened. Like I can barely hear. I'm a little bit concerned. But it is Sunday now. So the last time I checked in with you guys was Friday, um, which was definitely like not a typical work day in my life, but it was really, really fun. But today I also want to show you guys what a typical like weekend day, more so Sunday looks like in my life. So I like to upload on Sundays. Um, just being really honest with you guys. I like watching YouTube on Sundays. I find that there are so many great new videos that always come up and pop up on Sundays, especially in the thrifting and DIY space. There's a lot of YouTubers I really admire that upload on Sundays and um, I would love to be kind of like grouped in with those people if that makes any sense. I try my best to get my videos up on Sundays, but if I don't, it's okay too. Okay, so also I ordered these like set active tops and they're so cute and I meant to get the like matching legging set to it And um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I already have like a picture of it on my Instagram of like um, Me in one of these and I loved it so much. I got it in the oat milk during the Labor Day sale, but um, I obviously got confused because I was ordering it on my phone and I should never do that because that's where I always go wrong um, And I ended up getting two tops instead of a top and a legging. So now I've ordered the legging anyway, so my ears are so clogged anyway okay so sundays is a cleaning day for us every sunday we clean um so the main things that we always get done on sunday is like really really vacuum hardcore we clean the entire kitchen i wipe down all the counters we try to throw out as much food in the fridge that like kind of like went bad and stuff like that um i also vacuum our bedroom wipe down all the services we windex the mirrors um, and then there's always like extras. I would say like everything takes about an hour and a half and it's like pretty extremely thorough. We also vacuum every day. Dylan made lunch. It looks so good. This is, ooh, this looks fancy. It's salmon on a bed of romaine. Let's get to eating and we'll take him a day. We are ready to go out now. I just got ready and this is probably the most ridiculous outfit you'll ever see someone wear to the dollar store. It's maybe like the last few really nice days so why not wear a dress? Um, I like this one though. It has all this like mesh detailing on it. It's super cute. And then just wearing it with a pair of Converse. Okay so this is my version of like a no work Sunday type of look. Obviously I'm not doing as much work as I normally do on like a work day but sometimes it's nice just to get a little bit ahead of my work. Um, and because we're going out already it just makes sense to go out and try to take this photo as well. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we just got home. Um, look at Beans. Hi, Beanie. Bean. Um, okay, so we are going to start cleaning, I guess, and vacuum sealing our mattress. If you've been watching any of my vlogs, you will know that we've had this lovely mattress in our hallway for literally a month now. And I'll explain a little bit, like, why we're doing this. So being the nice sister that I am, I left the mattress that I paid for and everything um, when I moved back home um, for my sister to have because... She was coming back from university around the same time I was like moving out and like I just felt bad like not having a bed for her there to sleep because like I don't know like she'd have to buy a new mattress and like I just felt like it made more sense for Dylan and I to get like a new mattress when we moved out. So anyway, I kept the mattress there and then what happened was um, Sydney, my sister actually ended up moving out the month after and my mom said it was okay for her to take my mattress which like it's a whole other story in and of itself, but she took my mattress from home to her place and then um, things happen, COVID happened, all this type of stuff and um, Sid just like made the decision to essentially move back home so she wouldn't need that mattress anymore. We had this extra room at like my house house that we turned into a guest room and I actually did a whole room transformation on that. So there is like a brand new bed in there with a mattress. So now we have like an extra mattress kind of just floating around. I love my mattress so incredibly much. It was like the first like big girl purchase I made with my own money when I um, got a full-time job after university and stuff like that. And um, so I have a slight emotional attachment to it as well. It's a great mattress. So because that mattress had nowhere to go, we decided to make the executive decision that it will come here and we're sleeping on that mattress now instead of the one that we got together. So the one that we got together was actually a brand partnership with Lisa. They ever so kindly gifted the mattress as well as two pillows with it. And we love our Lisa. To be honest, like I have chronic back issues and I've never had 
back pain in the morning when I've woken up from a Lisa. People have asked me like how Lisa is, like what my, if I would recommend it. And 100%, I think for sleep, it's really, really amazing. We are not disposing our Lisa mattress. We are not donating it or anything. What we're going to actually do with it. And another reason why we decided to swap the mattresses out is because Lisa can be re-vacuum sealed. So because it already came in a box and was vacuum sealed before, um, we know that we can vacuum seal it again. The one that I have, like from before then that has like coils and everything like that like there's no like very um i guess practical way to store it that's what happened with that we love it we're gonna keep it for like a guest bedroom or something like that for like our future home um whenever that happens i'm gonna change out of this outfit this is not proper cleaning attire so i'm gonna do that and hopefully we can get a time lapse of everything and everything i do to get this house spick and span for the new week ahead scared this is gonna like there's a hole here somewhere it's gonna like bust open but um i mean obviously it takes up way less room we still have a secondary mattress cover over there we're gonna just cover it um just to make sure that in case there is a hole um there's not gonna be any water damage when it's stored um in the garage but at least it takes up a lot less room <laughs> that was a lot it didn't take us long but we definitely have like a hidden hole in there somewhere and we're kind of scared it's gonna like explode but um we're going to keep it away from our dog until we're able to transport it and until like my mom or someone who actually knows what they're doing can take a look at it we're gonna head out and we're going to grab some takeout with sarah and annie and the boys so yeah that concludes our night as well as this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks again to massa for sponsoring this video that was such a fun collaboration to do i've never done a, a car brand partnership and i this was just so incredibly fun to do. So I'm going to have all the information for the CX-9 in the description below as well as anything else that I have mentioned. And let me know what you guys want to see next because there's so many more videos coming this fall. So yeah, I'm going to go and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Say bye, Jill. Bye. <laughs> What's that? size as it did 10 minutes ago, so that's good. Right? Yeah.